There are currently 162 champions in League of Legends. But the whole League community agrees that one of them is just better than everyone else. <laughs> So today I'm making the default skin team, I mean the little devil Teemo. I'm starting off with his throne. I cut out a few flat pieces of clay and baked them. Then I glued them together with super glue to create the base shape I wanted. This is just a temporary solution, so to actually hold everything together I went over the seams with epoxy sculpt. This way it won't all fall apart when I put it in the oven. After that had cured, I started building up the actual shape of the throne. In my previous video where I made Baron Nusher, I said I want to make a very detailed and cool champion next. So just to clarify, this is not that video. That will come sometime later in the future. I've been wanting to make a Devil Teemo ever since I saw the splash art. Not because I love Teemo, but just because the throne looked like a lot of fun to make. When I was done with the base shape, I baked it and gave it a quick sanding. I also chipped away the clay at some parts and made it look damaged. This is how it looks in the splash art, which is great because it also helps me hide any imperfections in the sculpture. Now I can finally get to my favorite part, which is working on the details. I had it all planned out in my head, but when I finally got to this part, I realized the scale is much smaller, so I couldn't make them look as good as I wanted to. The armrests have spikes on them for some reason, but Timo is too small to use them anyway, so I guess it makes sense. The front of the throne gets two decorative mushrooms. If you don't know who Timo is, this might seem very random, but it's his signature thing. There are some chains holding the throne, so I added a bit of wire for the first link, so it's nice and sturdy, and covered it with clay. I'll be adding the actual chains later, so they don't get in the way. There are also two weeping angel statues at the front. I tried making them separately first, but it kept moving around, so I stuck it in place and then added the wings. The sides also get a few spikes, and then the last thing left is to add some cloth that's hanging on the throne. This also gets damaged because I guess that's just how things are in hell. I lied earlier, the last thing is actually adding the chains. Then I smoothed the clay with isopropyl alcohol and baked it. To make Timo, I connected two beans and gave it some legs. He looks pretty horrifying at this stage, but it doesn't get better actually. I gave him his little arrogant smile and added a few clay pieces to make him more fuzzy. Then I textured his whole body to imitate the fur. Then some ears and horns that do make him look a bit cuter. He also gets his little hands and a few details so he's not running around naked. He sits on a pillow, so I made a dent in a pillow-shaped piece of clay where he can fit perfectly. 
and also added a dent for his tail. The pillow also gets a few details since Timo is too cool for a regular pillow. Normally he is associated with mushrooms, for this skin though he is holding the head of Jack Skellington. And he also has a little crown. The paint job is pretty straightforward. Like most devils are portrayed, he is dark red and has a lighter face and stomach. I don't really have much to say about this, so enjoy a moment of peace and quiet. The throne gets painted in a darker grey and I went over it with a lighter dry brush. To help with the flame effect I'll add later, I went over some parts with red, orange and yellow to make it look like the light from the flames. The cloth gets painted a dark purple with lighter highlights around it. I glue the throne on a dense cardboard base with two part epoxy glue and I can start working on the flames. I'm making the flames with translucent silicone. I'll mix it up with some liquid pigments I use for dyeing resin and apply it to the base. Something went wrong in my brain and I added the colors in the wrong order, but I think it still looks kind of like fire in the end. I also added a bit of silicone to his Jack Skellington mushroom, and that's it. Thank you to my newest patron, Ghostwolf567 as well as everyone else who supports the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!